Hey, a mystic family. Mystic Unigon here. And I'm sorry today I do not have a Sunday shout out. Because yesterday, since Munchin's going back to school on Monday, we decided to do something fun of her choosing. And she wanted to go to the Baltimore Aquarium this time. The last aquarium we went to was Adventure Aquarium in uh, Camden, New Jersey. Uh, now, comparing the two, we actually like Adventure Aquarium better because it has the shark tunnel, which I I did not get... I got pictures of inside it, but I didn't take a, I could, it's hard to take videos in those places, especially when you go on a weekend because it's so crowded, which is why I only had the couple short ones. And before I did not know that you could add multiple videos to one on InShot or how. And I looked it up, and I figured out how. Plus, you can add photos. Now, I don't think you can make a video of just photos, or how, if that's possible. Um, but you can add photos to a video if they go along with it. So that's good, because I took two short videos at Baltimore Aquarium, plus a buttload of pictures. And I'm trying to pick out, like, my favorite ones. So I will be messing with that today and um, putting that all together. So there will be a video later of the two videos and there will be pictures in between. So like I'll have one video of kind of the beginning area and then there will be some pictures. Then the second video and then kind of the few things that were um, around at the end. I wish I could put photos at the beginning because there were a couple sites. Actually, I'll put them on this one because it's, it, there's just a couple sites in Baltimore that we saw. Um, now, it was kind of depressing when we drove into Baltimore because the part that our GPS took us to and our our GPS is outdated and it was causing issues on the way home compared to me using my phone GPS. So I think it's time to get it. I think it's time for us to get a new Garmin. Um, it kept trying to make us backtrack and it was really annoying. But my phone just said kept going straight and like it was trying to take us on back roads to avoid a toll because I think we set it to that to avoid tolls and he was like I don't care I just want to get home <laughs> but um it was depressing when we went in to Baltimore because the area we drove through like I don't know if the whole city's like that but the area we drove through had litter and trash everywhere on the ground and in that part of the city there was just like trash piled up at the sewer, the, the, the entrances to the sewer along the sidewalk. It, it was, it was disgusting. It was depressing. And it's just like, there is no way I could ever live in a place like that. I don't know how people can. It, it's so gross that people don't clean up trash and they just throw it everywhere and litter. Like, It's like, and you wonder why we have all these planetary issues now, because there's just too many people that don't care about it. And they're just gonna let it go to crap. It, it, it's so sad. But once we got further in, it was a bit nicer. Still would never ever live in the city. There is no amount of money that could get me to ever live in a city. I want a backyard. I want to be able to grow vegetables and basil so I can make my own pesto and stuff like that and, fl and have flowers. I don't want to breathe in toxic city fumes. I'd rather smell the shit from, a, shit from the farm up the road. 
Like, I'd rather smell that all day than breathe in toxic city crap. Yeah. Plus, hear traffic go by all night, and like, no. Because I've spent the night at a friend's house that lived in a city. And I couldn't sleep. Like, even with the windows shut and stuff, you can still hear traffic go by outside. Like, I could not sleep. So it was, yeah. But we did see a couple nice places. They had a huge, huge Barnes and Noble building. And we went into there, and, like, it was massive. I'm like, man, we go to the ones in the malls, and those are nothing. But, uh... That's it for this video. Hope you look forward to our my pictures. I had to some of them were some of them were a little blurry, so I'm sorry, and I didn't get a whole lot of the sharks. They do have dolphins there, and I don't agree with keeping animals like that in captivity in those pools. So I did not take pictures of them. I avoided that. I mean, they were uh, I'll I'll say this now. They were having fun. They were playing with balls. <laughs> they were bouncing them around. But they had the pen, like, cut in half. So there was, like, two on one side and two on the other. But there was, like, little... When you could get down to where you could see under the water, they had, like, little dividers with holes in them. So they could basically see... Kind of see the dolphins on the other side. And one of them was just, like, hovering around it. Like, he was talking to the one on the other side. So it's like, kind of sad that they're separated like that. But, yeah, I, I can't... I don't condone that, but as far as, like, I, I mean, as far as the other stuff, like, they gave it plenty of room, like, where the sharks were is a huge, massively huge tank, and they're swimming with other fish and stuff, and there's no issues, but, like, dolphins, no. Dolphins and orcas, I do not believe being kept in captivity. I just, I don't believe in that. And sharks, if they're real big, because these guys weren't that huge, like, there are smaller ones but anyway hope you guys will enjoy my next video and montage of pictures and I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>